Hey, I'm glad you came back for the second session of prayer leaders continuing education. This, this is a process and we'll get to the different aspects of prayer. So hang on with me. And I think really the most important thing is when I go off the camera and you begin to talk with other people in the room about what you're doing with your own prayer process. But tonight we want to ask this simple little question. What is prayer? It should be the simplest thing in the world. Einstein said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. And, and that's the way prayer is. It's so simple, so complex. It's, it's just, no, it's, it's, it's not reducible to a just this or that. And when, and when you do, you invariably unbalance it. It's adoring God. It's asking. It's finding agreement with God. It's beseeching God. It's calling out to the Lord. It's confessing. It's professing. It's consecrating. It's intercession. It's ministering to the Lord. It's meditating. It's praise. It's supplication, which means to be supple, to be bendable, and to be pliable. It's, it's spiritual warfare. It's thanksgiving. It's worship. And beyond all these things, it involves discerning and resting and wrestling and pulling down and rooting out and reconciliation and watching and hearing and obeying. It encompasses all of these, but it's more than the sum total of these. Hey, somebody, somebody go get Einstein. Just when you think you understand prayer, the diamond is moved and you see another facet of prayer. It's, it's complex because prayer is the primary lens through which we personally see and come to know God. In, in that sense, prayer is like a pair of glasses that not only needs regular cleaning, but the prescription itself changes over time. Now, I'm not talking about prayer apart from Scripture. In fact, I'm talking about prayer anchored to Scripture, prayer out of Scripture, prayer over an open Bible. You see, prayer is never our goal. Knowing God is our goal. So here, here's the second question. What, what does healthy prayer look like? And, and that means we have to ask, what is a healthy theology of prayer? Right now, the center of our prayer, uh, most of our praying is petition, can't be a center. Or intercession and spiritual warfare can't be a center. The center of prayer, the beginning point, the foundation has to be communion with God. Everything else has to rise out of that petition, supplication, intercession, everything depends on the quality of the communal love relationship with, with God. And without communion with God, we don't have the standing necessary to offer our petitions. So you can ask what you will. John says, if you abide in me, if you abide in the vine, it's abiding, it's the communion. That's the heart of it all. The asking, the privilege of inquiring, can you help me with this God, comes out of communion. So, so abiding is ideally the prerequisite, the foundation for asking prayers. So let's say it a little differently. Answers to prayer dry up when we attempt to sustain an asking relationship with God without a heart for God, without a desire for time with God, uh, without uh, uh, the longing for the sheer pleasure of God's presence. And in the same way, our capacity to do intercession, to stand in the middle between God and someone else, depends on the quality of the relationship we have, not with the other person, but with, with God, on the strength of our relationship with, 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 with God. Not the one in need, but, but it's God whose, whose grip we need to have the, the, be the strongest. Intercession is a bit like leaning over a cliff to, to grab someone who is falling or has fallen. So the grip above God and the grip below are both critical to the mission. But, but, but if you lean over the cliff to grab someone below and you don't have the firm grip above, then, then both of you are destined to uh, fall and fail. So, so, 
So it's this communal relationship with God that's, that's critical. Attempting petition and intercession while ignoring communion with God is sheer folly. It's really not prayer at all. It's an illusion that's preoccupied with one's own needs petition at the expense of the relationship or one's own power intercession believing that prayer itself has power. When the power of prayer is the strength of access to God, these three, communion with God, intercession, petition. Communion with God, intercession, petition are wrapped in a fourth. The fourth is thanksgiving. And, and, and it is to pervade all the other three. Communion is impossible without the cultivation of a heart of gratitude. Petitions and intercessions are to be wrapped in thanksgiving because we enter into his courts with thanksgiving. This is a healthy theology of prayer.